9 Fascinating Facts About Female Cats Many pet owners say that female cats are quieter, calmer, and less playful than males. Females also tend to be more independent and happy to spend time alone, so a female cat can be a good choice if you'll be out at work all day and just want to be welcomed with a purr when you get home. Number 1. They tend to be right pod. According to new research from Queen's University in Belfast, their preference may actually be down to their gender, with female moggies more likely to use their right paw and males more likely to use their left. They observed the cats as they were reaching for food, stepping down the stairs, or stepping over objects, and noticed that the majority were consistent in using a particular paw for the task. The male cats showed a significant preference for using their left paw, while the female cats were more inclined to use their right. Number 2. They have longer life expectancy. According to a research, outdoor cats live an average of 2 to 5 years while indoor cats typically live 10 to 15 years. Some of you found it hard to believe, which is why I have to point out that these findings are based on averages. So while it's possible for an outdoor cat to live a long life, you have to remember that the dangers of the outside world such as cars, disease, and predators bring the average age down. And also, whether or not a cat is spayed is a big deciding factor, which leads us to the next fact. Number 3. Spayed females live longer. Based on a database of 460,000 cats, found that spayed females' cats live 39% longer than unspayed females. And there are actually a few reasons for this. First, a spayed female is completely eliminated from the risk of ovarian and uterine cancers. This is because the ovaries and uterus are removed during the operation. Also, a spayed female is at a reduced risk for breast and mammary cancers as well as mammary and reproductive tumors. In fact, if a female is spayed before her first heat cycle, the rate of her developing breast tumors drops to nearly zero. Finally, a spayed cat is also spared from other life-threatening diseases such as pyometra, which is a severe uterine infection that is almost always fatal if undetected. Needless to say, the less likely a cat is to catch a deadly disease, the more likely they are to live a long life. Number 4. Tortoise shells and calicos are almost always female. A tortoise shell cat has a bicolored coat that looks like the shell of a tortoise. Its colors are usually ginger and black. Similarly, a calico has a tricolor coat with a white base and orange and black patches. It turns out that most calicos and torties are females thanks to their DNA. Remember that females have two X chromosomes while males have one X and one Y chromosome. Since two X chromosomes are needed to make a calico or tortoiseshell coat, these coat patterns are almost always reserved for the ladies. But, there is an exception to this rule. Although very rare, a male tortoiseshell or calico is possible if he is born with an extra X chromosome. But, this occurrence is pretty rare. In fact, a study found that only one out of every 3,000 calico cats is male. The same is true for tortoiseshell. Number 5. Female cats can get pregnant. From just 4 months old. The average female cat will go into her first heat cycle, between 6 to 9 months of age. But, a female can be as old as 12 months old or even as young as 4 months can start her heat cycle which means it's possible for her to get pregnant as young as 4 months. If they're not spayed, girl cats are ready to breed as soon as they reach puberty at 4 months old. Therefore, it is a good idea to get them spayed at this age or younger to avoid any unwanted kittens being born. Number 6. Female Stick Together in Colonies A cat colony is a group of outside cats that stay close to food and shelter. Interestingly, males and females play different roles in this group. Females tend to stay together in colonies to help each other raise and guard kittens. On the other hand, Males remain on their own to avoid having to compete for females and food. When males aren't off on their own, they usually hang around the edges and wait for the chance to mate. Number 7. Female cats can give birth to a litter with multiple fathers. Queens can have between 1 and 9 kittens in a litter, although usually there are between 4 and 6, and the kittens won't necessarily all have the same father. Female cats may mate with more than one male to produce a litter, which explain why their kittens can be such a range of colors. Believe it or not, if a female cat mates with more than one male during her fertile period, her eggs can potentially be fertilized by more than one male. This phenomenon also happens in other animals like dogs and cows. And although extremely rare, this can also happen in humans. 
So, how can you tell if a litter came from multiple fathers? Look to see if the kittens are a range of different colors. They might also be varying sizes and have different characteristics from each other. But even if the kittens look pretty similar, that doesn't always mean they have the same father. Number 8. Female cat pregnancy lasts for 9 weeks. Pregnancy for a cat lasts a tenth of the time as a human pregnancy, around just 66 days. Plus, a female cat can get pregnant again just 6 weeks after giving birth, even more reason to get her neutered as soon as possible. Last one number 9. Mum cat or queens. Because she behaves like a queen towards courtiers, the people who attend the court of a monarch. When a female cat is on heat, a period called estrus, and the time during which she is receptive, she lords it over the toms who gather around her like a circle of courtiers. They approach the queen with deference and she often punishes them in an autocratic manner after sex when she aggressively slaps them while screaming abuse. Clearly, it is cat breeders who use the word queen in relation to their female cats more than anybody else. Aside from these feline facts male and female cats are actually quite similar, particularly if they have been neutered and spayed. Their personality is shaped by their individual genetic background and their past experiences in life not their gender so every cat is unique. Thank you for watching our video please hit like share and subscribe.